hello beautiful people how you guys doing today this is mimi Lisa. how you guys doing today so today we're gonna do a day for makeup look for christmas and this is another creative thing that if you are looking for a specific glittery sparkly makeup look so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna do not to get too much close to my eye um i do love my glitter i love it i had an idea how i'm gonna get my face sparkling and glowing so i'm just gonna go as i normally do firstly i wouldn't have done it but this is a big challenge for me seriously it's a big challenge um and also as a challenge it's so challenging that i was like mm, sparkly glitter that's what is sparkle on the eyes so we're gonna go for this so we're gonna do the sparkly christmas makeup look so i'm gonna give you a tutorial on it and also like i said before if you see that i'm not talking much and i haven't put any music in the background so in advance i just want to keep it natural and it just has to be like a kind of peace and quiet and also put also some music in the background of yours and then in case you see that oh my gosh she's not talking but you can still watch me and see what exactly i'm doing even when i'm talking i sure i've been doing something but yeah so what i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use some lovely um glitter press eyeshadow which is amazing from this brand and i'm gonna tag it i'm gonna tag where you can get this lovely product from and um, also you get a, a discount code on there as well so yes get your hand in that okay the first um because i'm gonna do something very very sparkly so we're gonna start with mainly i'll start with my eyebrow as i normally do so we can start with that and then go from there and then move on to the next level um let me show you first what i'm going to be using on my face so i'm going to use this lovely palette by luna bakash and um, this is amazing if you have, i've got a lot a lot more but i'm gonna use this one this two year plus i'm also gonna use the golden color which is from the lovely take two cosmetic and if you have not heard of this brand check them out they are amazing brand. i'm definitely gonna leave their website down below so that you can check them out as well um i'm gonna use this three lovely thing as well and also i'm gonna use for my lip i'm gonna use the lovely emoline this is amazing lipstick as well and they do do some nail varnish from like different country country and then city and stuff like that and definitely check them out because you're gonna love it and also because i said i don't want to get it close to my eye so i'm also going to use the utopia palette which the color are amazing you see that i've used it so much i definitely use it but hope so it's day and also i'm um, for my foundation i'm gonna use this ordinary you see how much i've used so much i just realized that i'm it's like i'm taking off the foundation completely and also from the start if i'm gonna start my eye i'm gonna start with this lovely and uh, charlotte table which is the enhancing your eye just to get your eye into like Ooh, give me some drama so i'm gonna start with that um also i got some different colors for my under eye i don't know what color eye i'm gonna go for because i i want to go with the blue because i do have a blue something glitter so i'm gonna go for the blue and then and uh, that's why showing the foundation and this is a must to have this is the blusher and this blusher is amazing it's unbelievable definitely check it out because you're gonna love it i'm definitely gonna leave the link below where you can get all of this product for less and you save yourself a lot of coin okay especially especially these days you save yourself a lot of coin okay and also Oh god it's lovely part i decided to use this because i saw that how my face really looked um the other day it was so smooth and it was nothing showing so let's start with the brow and then we can move on to the eye which i am mostly i could just start with the eye straight away but i want to fix my brow first um the first you do your brow you brush this first completely just brush it up yeah when i have time i'll do my brow today and then yes and then you'll see me a couple days late and the following day then you'll see my brow is nice and perfect but for now we're just gonna manage what we have now 
so what we're gonna do i just saw something online i just found something when i was watching it live and i just seen that someone when you do your boy you do it from there like you do from there like that do you know what sometimes i learn new thing every time do you know the more you learn to do your brow the more you become more comfortable so that is what i've learned and this is what i'm gonna do that's how i'm gonna do, do my lovely charlotte away and this is like a set that you can put on your eyes just to make it more um give you what you need to do so i'm just gonna do that now and just do this and that is what i'm gonna do also when you do the other side of the eye just make it just make it look equal to the other side even you don't mistake you don't have to worry about that because mistake happen i always see that i do a lot of mistake 100 percent of the time i will say my mistake are the mistake that i need to improve on and i also gonna say the orangey which is this color yeah i'm gonna do the other side of the eye as well and um, the color kind of look exactly similar color of the I think I just put my eyelid so that's what I'm doing and also if you are always looking for cheap makeup I would say check Beauty Bay because they got some amazing cheap makeup especially the eyeshadow palette because I'm just crazy about eyeshadow palette and do you know what i'm gonna say this i'm a i'm a crazy person about eyeshadow palette when i if i see an eyeshadow palette and the color is amazing in my head and questioning my head is like is it worth it getting it and the, there's there's also a negative power um do you know when people buy some eyeshadow palette and then they give like a really negative we're unsatisfying and when i said they were unsatisfied i mean like they were like so not unhappy do you know do you know most of the time i feel like some people normally don't um there's so much thing that in a world that you want to like really improve on the look and when you do improve on the look you'll be like oh my god i definitely need to improve what i just sold but the thing is that if if for example you are going to purchase a product from a brand and sometimes i just got this feeling i gotta say, i have to say this for once and for all i got a feeling that whoever purchased those lovely product i'm gonna say this that this person know what they're doing um and i'm gonna start with the blue first um and then um like let's say it could be a family member it could be a friend this person has been friend with this person for a very long time and this person might have done something really bad to them and then they have to give them a bad review and for me i'm just like something in my head like why do you want to waste your energy just giving a bad review because first of all don't give a bad review. give a bad review basically just saying to them that oh the product that you gave me was not good or the product that you gave me um i really i did love it but it gave me a bit of allergic reaction for me that would be the only reason for me not to like really like the product if i really want to like a somebody product i would love it based on just saying like um i love your product but it didn't give me the wow factor it didn't really make me love you it didn't make me love anything about your brand so for me that would be based on that so if you are a a brand and you want a honest person to give you the best review just expect those person giving the best review and also make sure that you don't have any enemy in behind you uh, you don't have someone that will be getting your product telling negative stuff about it and just insulting on your face and insulting your product and saying like oh did i try her product it was horrible because i don't want her to gain any money and sometimes i always see people doing that a lot anyway 100 percent of the time okay this is just a bit of sparkle going on my eyelid um 
I'm gonna say on an honest way, an honest way only. Some people don't normally do that just for revenge. Or some people just do that based on jealousy. For me, that's what it's gonna be based on jealousy only. So if somebody is so jealous of what you have achieved in life, um they're gonna be like, Oh my gosh, um I'm they're doing so much better than me. Oh my gosh, I'm not even done anything in my life. Oh my gosh, I'm I've not achieved anything. First of all, I see a lot of people putting um, putting themselves down just for tiny of you tiny complaint tiny opinion of other people and and i just think that there's so many other people who have so much opinion on like random things i'm gonna say don't take those answers really because they're just gonna love your pain that's what they're gonna do the more they see you being like down They'll love seeing you being like that and they'll love it the more and they keep saying that they'll be like oh my god she's so unhappy oh my god she's she's not posting for ages do you know why they, they're doing that just to make sure that you're going slowly down that's what they're doing they're not doing because they love you they're only doing that because they just want you to go slowly down as soon as you go down that's it that's the like the end of the story about that like I said, if you're going to sell your product and you know those people are your friends and your family and you have not had any issue about it and they have not gave you any negative thought and then you see, you start to seem like a, a negative with you. Just, just suspect like, don't suspect your family. Don't suspect anything yet. Just message that Me, like re re respond to that message and ask them the opinion why they didn't like the product what was the part that they, you needed to improve for me that is what i would do if someone just came to my business and just said oh no i don't like what you've done it's horrible what you've done it's just so not good just do that the more you do that the more They'll be become more unsatisfying. Them, they'll, they'll be more angry with themselves. They'll be like, "Oh my gosh, I did this so bad. She did happen so good. Now I'm gonna pull her back to square one." Um, I'm gonna say this: when you're doing your business, do some research. Do your research. I see a lot of people when they started doing their business. I'm not gonna name any name anyway. And um, when they start doing their business and sometimes that business become like crazy when i say crazy i mean like it go it go really crazy and sometimes those people who want their business to be like the most successful business ever they ask people for opinion they ask what people would like to see what everyone to know about it i'm just gonna say this sometimes those response you get I did some research like that myself, but I didn't feel like I was going to do it based on me. Um, I'm using a pink one now. I just do what you love. Oh, I've done it worse. I need a dry one. I just don't know what this. I'm going to say, do what make you happy. Don't do what make other happy. Just be you. And be so sexful. And just show them what they be missing just do what you love and don't let anyone go down for you don't let anyone tell you that oh no you can't do this but just do what you love the most if you love doing whatever talent you got just do it and also as 2023 is arriving soon just keep doing you don't do anything anyone love to see you going down for okay i feel like i'm just gonna stop what i'm doing i think this glitter is over the top i'm always a person that i like positive vibe even you know the thing about me is that even when someone give me negative when someone kind of like feel like they don't need me anymore when someone like feel like they don't want anything to do with me 
I'm always like chill, but the truth is that I'm hurt right inside. No, how how matter they do that to me? I'm just hurt right inside. Okay, I'm gonna put this last one, then I'm done. But I'm just, I'm just gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And then now we're done with this sparkle stuff. Now let's go for some different. Add a bit of color in our eye just to make it. Should I just? I think I should just leave it like that. I don't want to touch it. And then just put my foundation on. Mm. I think I'm gonna leave it like this and then put my foundation and then just move on to the next step. So I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put this foundation on my face. So I got an idea. I'm gonna put this over my face. That way, I don't have to put anything on the side of my cheek. Doing this so long. Now, we're gonna. I don't want to okay i'm gonna leave it like that um and need on my cheek so i'm gonna just do this i'm done just gonna do that Um, that is my look. See you guys in uh, another look. And yes, I'm gonna, um, this look, I'm gonna cut it, cut it, cut it. Because I know I've, I've spoke a lot on it. But I'm gonna cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. But if you want a full, full version on this, let me know. But anyway, um, I'm gonna make it very short. So it doesn't look like it's the longest video ever okay and now we're gonna move on but anyway i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and um, by the time you watch this yeah thank you and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay and like i said i'm gonna show you the final look on the same day okay bye